So I'm going to show you how to quickly and simply change lenses on your digital SLR camera. Um, now the common problem that you encounter here is that when you take it off you need somewhere to put it, then pick up the new lens and put it onto the body. What I'm going to show you how to do is do it all in one movement um, without needing a surface to put anything on and do it quickly enough that there really isn't time for any dust or anything to get into the body of the camera and onto the sensor. So here's how you do it. Oh, uh, I'm using a Rebel XT here, but this should work on most, and uh, most digital SLRs, that is. And my lens release button is here on the left side, so if yours is in a different position, you might need to adjust this a little bit for your camera. Basically, here's how it works. Let me just grab the lens I'm going to put on. Uh, grip the camera in your left hand um, so that it's sort of in the palm of your hand. See how I'm holding this here? And... Basically, you want to get a good grip on it and have your index uh, finger in your left hand on the lens release button. You're then going to take the body, uh, the rear cap off the lens that you want to put on, put in your pocket or something or, or in your bag or wherever you get it from. And I'm just going to stand up to show you this. You take it in your right hand and hold it with your uh, thumb, index finger, and middle finger. Now, it's probably easiest if you line your thumb up with the little um, indicator dot. Now, in this case, it's a red dot, which means this is an EF lens. If it was a white square, that would mean it's an EFS lens, but it's essentially the same thing either way. Just make sure that that's pointing up and, and you shouldn't have much trouble. Um, so grab that in your right hand, as I mentioned, and you're going to take the body or, or the tip of the lens that's on the camera and place it into the palm of your right hand like this and grip around it with your pinky and ring finger and the back of your your palm so now you can actually hold the lens the camera by the tip of the lens and now you don't want to do that necessarily but um, you know that that's basically the type of grip that you should have on it so what you're gonna do is hold it them perpendicular to each other as you can see and make sure that indicator dot is pointing up. Press the lens release button with your left index finger. Rotate the body of the camera and just place the new lens in. I'm just going to do that again. You see this is an EFS lens, the white square. Just going to point that up. Um, rotate them and there you go. Uh, the one other thing, and I'm just going to switch it back <laughs> once more, um, one, uh, a few things here. First of all, ge uh, be generally best practice is to keep the body of the camera pointed down, and if you can do that, then, you know, try to shoot for that, but the body of the camera is open for such a short period of time here that it probably won't matter that much unless you're in some kind of sandstorm or, or in a really dusty environment, but if you can, try and point the body of the camera down uh, when you're doing this. So if you do it like that, uh, the problem with pointing it down is that, in this case, the, uh, the flash area here actually blocks me from seeing the indicator dot and lining it up properly. So it's probably easier to point it up, but you really want to try and avoid doing that if you can. Um, also, uh, practice this over your bed or over your carpet or something, so that if you drop your lens, um, you don't blame me for uh, destroying your $1,000 or however much uh, these things cost. Um, one other thing is... Uh, there's a potential problem if you're going from a really large lens like this 70 to 300, which has a you know a 62 millimeter diameter, and if you're going if you're going from that to a really short lens like this 50 1.8, uh, and the problem is that if the length of this lens is shorter than the diameter of the lens you're going with, then gripping it like this doesn't really work because you can see, and even if you you stick it out like that you have a weaker grip on the whole thing, um, which isn't good, and it also, it's still kind of difficult to do. So what you do instead is make sure that you've got your lens caps on, um, and place the two lenses end to end, uh, or head to head, if you will. And you generally want to do this with that indicator dot pointing upward uh, towards you. And so if you hold the camera so that the back of it's facing you, you're going to place it so that the front of the lens is pointing towards, so they're, they're both lens to lens or front to front. 
that indicator dot should probably be twisted slightly um, counterclockwise. So you want it to be around 11 o'clock. The reason is that when you twist the lens, it's actually going to move. So you want it to be over here instead of over here. Hold them end to end. And basically, you're going to do the same thing, except this time you're going to move your hands all the way around. So if I press that little um, lens release, twist, and just move the whole thing around, and there you go. I just switched the two lenses that quickly. Um, and to go back, um, you're going to hold them perpendicular again, creating that right angle. Um, so if I just grab that, and I go like that, and it's that simple. I'm just going to put the 18 to 55 back on, and there you go. Changing lenses is that simple, and um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful to you.